My friend. Yes. Supposing someone hurts you and he doesn't bother to apologize to you. Will you forgive this person? Yeah, of course. You ought to forgive. Is it easy? It's not easy, but sometimes you have to bear the situation mm -hmm. because if we are Christians, mm -hmm. we need to be into that Christendom level mm -hmm. and put in the same shoes that Jesus Christ mm -hmm. put. This is exactly what we are going to talk about in the Hangout for Peace today. How can you forgive a, a neighbor who is unapologetic? Someone steps on your toes, but he is not ready to apologize to you. In fact, at some point, maybe he is rejoicing of what he has done to you. Will you forgive such a person? I am joined by a friend in the studio who will explain to us his name and maybe what he does, something little about himself, and then we try and narrow down and maybe get the truth if we can forgive a neighbor who is unapologetic or it's not easy to do that. What's your name, friend? My name is uh, George mm -hmm. or Cheng Olun. Mm -hmm. I'm born again Christian mm -hmm. and happy to be named by the name of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. You must be coming from the Lakeside. Uh, really, really, of course. <laughs> That's my genes. Now, this subject that we are discussing today is a bit sensitive. Really? And it's a bit uh, 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 difficult to many people. Really? There are people who have the tendency to hurt, but they are really unapologetic. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been offended by a person and he was not ready to ask for forgiveness from you? My friend, of course, yes. Mm. Even the other day, I was just moving from my place heading to town. Mm. And uh, I met a certain man of God, to I will not mention his mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. But you see, I was seated next to the driver on the front seats. Mm -hmm. But uh, behind me, mm -hmm. the seats were empty. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was amazed by this man to speak in his own language. Mm -hmm. They communicated with the driver. Mm -hmm. And the driver told me, okay, just move from the front and go behind, and mm -hmm. then I'll tell you later. Mm -hmm. So by the time I alighted in the town, mm -hmm. he told me the reason why he told me to move from the front seats, mm -hmm. and I moved to behind. What was the reason? Uh, the reason was he, he, he has been fond of sitting next to the driver in the front seats. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt you, definitely. I was really offended because uh, I didn't see to the reason why. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to move from the front seats and mm. going to the behind seats. Now, can you forgive this neighbor who did that? In fact, at that particular moment, mm. the, there was a certain uh, spiritual uh, uh, kind of d distension. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, what, what will I say? How, how, how did it happen? Mm. But with the time, I had to forgive. Mm. Because there are two things, my friend, sometimes. Mm -hmm. When uh, you can put uh, your white clothes mm. and... Uh, going into a certain place mm -hmm. where you're visiting a very good friend of yours mm -hmm. and you've been called to attend even a certain meeting mm -hmm. and here comes by the time you're passing then a certain mud the vehicle passes and the certain mud comes into your clothes mm -hmm. there are two things that you can do mm -hmm. because people as you continue moving there's a white cloth they'll see the mud mm -hmm. smearing your clothes mm -hmm. and people will be shouting my friend we can't see the mud why can't we help you mm -hmm. removing it mm -hmm. now you can do two things number one you can leave that mud to dry. Mm -hmm. And number two, you can move it immediately mm -hmm. when it's still to, to wet. Yeah. Yeah. There is a consequences to which you will undergo. Mm -hmm. If you wait it until it becomes dry, mm -hmm. the effect mm -hmm. or the impact will not be big. Mm -hmm. It will not be smeared more into your clothes. Mm -hmm. But if you remove it immediately, mm -hmm there will be a very bigger impact because it will leave that place dirty more than it used to be. Please break it down for me because it's a bit now becoming a paradox. <laughs> if, if someone has hurt me, yeah. now I'm taking the example of the mud that you've said. Yeah. Uh, I should leave the mud to dry. Yeah, I should really not yeah. remove it when it is fresh yeah. because if it's fresh, then it, it will smear more to the cloth. Oh, really? So I should leave this person to go to dry it such that it it comes into my make break it down for us yeah mm. they used to say i read a certain book mm. that i found something which was very interesting mm. but has really helped me a lot mm. they said uh, patience in the moment of anger mm. 
saves a person a hundred years of regrets. Oh yeah. Patience mm. in the moment of anger mm. saves a person a hundred years mm. of regrets. Mm. Acting, mm. when you act by the time you're full of more pains and acrimony mm. in your heart, mm. you may end up attracting more bitterness mm. and harming yourself more and making more harm and harming that person. So we should be patient. We should be patient because you don't know the reason why he did that. Now, George, terrorists have invaded the church. Oh, really? People have been killed. Yes. And they after day the terrorists are not apologetic really? in fact they are rejoicing over what they have done mm -hmm. when they kill a multitude they go celebrating we have made it yeah you are a christian christians feel the agitation mm -hmm. and they feel that they don't want to forgive these people yeah. please help me and help the christian can we forgive these guys who are terrorizing us they are not apologetic and in fact they are rejoicing of what they are doing we are christian my brother mm. Sophia. Mm. and what is our role within the christendom mm. body mm. we must act according to the, in, to the parameters within the parameters of our faith mm. what is it written in the matthew chapter 6 from verse 14 and 17 if you will not if you're not ready to forgive the people their their sins or their trespasses mm. our father in heaven will never forgive us yeah. or forgive you mm. but if we forgive them then our father in heaven will forgive so we are Christian, we are supposed to forgive. Forgiving them th th does not expose our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. It is only that we act within the parameters of our faith. Mm -hmm. And no ob objection about that. But is it easy for it in, in layman language, yeah. is it easy for a person to try and think, how can this forgiveness come? Despite it is a, it's a role, I'm working within the parameters of Christianity, yeah. as you said. But is it easy for us to forgive them that are doing that? It is not easy, mm. but in that hardness, mm. we are supposed to forgive them. Oh, yeah. We must forgive them. Mm. Because we are dealing with the people mm. who are not in our genes. Mm. Mm. What they believe in their faith mm. is very different from what we believe in. Mm. And we take it on the point of view. Mm. What God told Abraham mm. between the two brothers that you know the, his, the, mm. the history very well mm -hmm. according to the Bible mm. he told them that go I bless you mm. blessing I will bless you mm. I will increase you I bless you I will increase you mm. but you will leave your brother like a wild donkey mm. does where these our brother they inherited that curse from mm. you will live with your brother like a wild donkey it's a contentious issue guys are afraid of forgiving guys are afraid of even meeting them but then now i want you to to try and put yourself in the shoes of this person you know that this is the assailant he killed people maybe in a church or in a school like what happened in garissa university and today you've met this person and you're a christian Christ, uh, the Lord's Prayer tells us to forgive others our, their trespasses as they, as we forgive. No, God to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Is it easy for me to now see this person face to face and then say, anyway, God loves this person. I go away without trying to revenge. Oh, really? It's good that you ask that question. Mm. Who is the apostle who wrote the three quarters of the pistols in the Bible? Paul. He, he was Paul. Mm. And who was Paul? He was a persecutor of the church. Paul was a murderer. Mm -hmm. In fact, by the time he was walking, nobody was ready to encounter Paul. Mm. But if that love mm. from something that was rejected, mm. Jesus saw love from that person, mm. sometimes we need to see. Mm. Irrespective of all the things that we are saying, all the sacrimonies and bitterness, if we get them, we'll kill them. Mm. But number one thing, we must see the positive part of it. Mm. If Christ forgive the man mm. and Paul was changed, mm. who are these people? Yes, we can feel at the family. Yeah. You are coming. Mm. The other day some somebody wrote something in the internet in the Facebook. Mm. And by the time I was trying to peruse and going in through mm. and covered that writing, mm. there was a child who was maybe was abducted somewhere mm -hmm. and somebody spoke bitterly. Mm. But I wrote something. Mm. 
And the people responded, people liked that thing. Mm. Even, uh, even those are brothers, the Muslim, let me call them the Muslim. Mm. They like that thing. Mm. There is something that people are running out of in this world. Mm. It is about love. Mm. If you love a person, mm. that's everything. Thank you so much, George. I know we have a lot to speak, but our time is, is limited. And I pray that the Christians and others who are not Christians, non-Christians, can have that patience to try and forgive those who uh, offend us, yet they are not apologetic. Really? I wish you all the best and thank you for your time. Thank you so much. And I pray that God helps you. Really, really. To please speak this message to the rest. We are doing to Try it. and be patient and to forgive. Oh, really? You've heard it. Try and forgive. Be patient. By the way, if you cannot forgive, then you cannot be forgiven too. Till next time, keep watching pendajirani.com.